So I want to explain how to do GeoGebra and data analysis on, uh, on your computer using GeoGebra. So in order to do this, we need to open up GeoGebra first. So let's get there to the math apps. And in order to do this, we're actually going to need the spreadsheet. If your little window there has not popped up, uh, you can also go up here and you can go to the view on your menu and make sure that your spreadsheet is checked there. And for this, I actually don't need the graphics window, so I'm going to uncheck that. Um, I actually need my algebra here because I want to show you something in a minute. Um, and at this point, we're going to enter our data. So I went ahead and entered my information for the data sheet uh, from my Puzzle Cube data. Entered some information in there. And so uh, what I can do with this now is use it to graphically represent this data so I can uh, analyze it. And so there's a couple of different ways I can do that. But before I do that, you may have had issues with your, uh, with your cells here. And sometimes if you've already entered information and then you go back and try and change it, like let's say I want to go back and I want to change this to say seconds instead of minutes. And sometimes it will, uh, it will just disappear. Your information will disappear and you'll freak out. Um, but just remember, don't freak out. That's never the case. So let's say I want to just call this time one. And so what has happened is I already have B1 called something here. And because I've tried to change it over here in the spreadsheet, it doesn't like that. So what I can do is actually go in here and double click on my information. And then I can change it over here to seconds, press enter. And now the change reflects over here in the spreadsheet. Um, I can also input information from the algebra window into here. And so I'm going to do that by, let's say, in F1. So that would be over here. If I want to, in F1, um, call that time 5, I'm going to put F1 equals quotation time 5 seconds. And then press Enter, and that will show up over here. So I just wanted to show you that. Now, let's, uh, let's use our information here to, um, to actually graphically display some, some things. So I'm going to start with a single variable or one data set. So let's use the student for time one. And I want to display that with a one variable analysis. So I'm going to go over here, select one variable analysis, and it's going to pop up a window with a histogram, which doesn't really help me. So I want to change it now to a box plot because that's going to help me a little bit more with this type of data. And it's going to show you your lowest, your highest, and then some information in between. And I can see that data specifically by clicking on Show Statistics. And it's going to show me information. I know I've got a lot on my screen now, so I'm going to move that over to the side so I can see other things on my screen. So now I have all my statistics up here, and you can use this. Um, for your analysis. So here I have my number of values that's in, my average, I also have my minimum, my lowest number, my highest number, my median of the information, and then I have my um, uh, Q1, which is the, the lower quartile, and then my upper quartile medians. So I have that information there, and uh, I'm going to use that for my data analysis. Um, so I'm actually going to I'm going to now show you how to do multiple variables. So let's let's see how that how that happens. So I'm going to select now multiple data sets or multiple variables. And so now what it's going to do, since we have three columns of information, it's going to look within those three columns, and it's going to now create a box plot for all three of those columns. So I'm going to click multiple variable, and now for each column that I've selected, it's going to create a box and whiskers plot. So it does it by columns, not by rows. So if I want another box and whiskers plot underneath, i got to add another column of information here, and I need to include that in my selection. So this is going to show us our box and whiskers plots for B2 through B6, which is here, C2 through C6, and D2 through D6, which is here. Um, You'll notice here we have what we call an outlier, uh, which is this number right here. So it's a number that's 
kind of far out there. Um, so that will kind of skew our data and our information a little bit. Um, if you need to, you can delete that and you can try and see what your data looks like without the outlier. And so it looks a little bit differently. But for this case, uh, I'm not going to worry about getting rid of the outlier. I'm going to keep that in there. And now whenever I have finished with my, my visuals, I want to export it so I can turn it in. And I can export here as a picture. I can also use the snipping tool on the start menu and select the part of the window that I want to capture. And then it will basically take a picture that you can then save. So there you have it. This is all the information you need for 2.3.